Hey friends, I wanted to hop on here and show you something I came across this morning that's totally exciting. This is something that I've been looking for for years. I'm surprised that I haven't heard of it. Anyway, I wanted to show it to you. This is something for textual criticism. Let me just open it up and show you what I'm looking at here. It's the Center for Greek New Testament Restoration. I'm new to this, so this is my best understanding so far. It looks like it has all the witnesses up to the 400s in that top area. Then it has his Alan Bunnings, who I think made this website, his statistical restoration. And then he's got these popular critical texts, the Westcott and Hort, Nessel Allen, Society of Biblical Literature, Robertson Pierpont, Stephanus Textus Receptus, and the King James Textus Receptus, which was something that he created. Anyway, so you can see how they compare here. That he's got them stacked up upon one another. I would have liked to seen a longer list extending well past 400s and maybe some filter that you could sort it. Well, I want to see all the manuscripts from the 1st century to the 4th century or the 5th century, whatever. And maybe even to be able to show the Latin and other early translations as well. But this is better than nothing. So then you can compare. Let's, uh, let's jump over here to just something that I know that is of interest to many people be Timothy 3.16. Anyway, so this is the God was manifest in the flesh. And, okay, so here we, we've got these. They've got five witnesses. You can click on the witnesses and see what they are. So that's the Sinaiticus. And you can see what the original Greek original Greek looks like. It's got one of them here has Theos, which I think that's the way they used to abbreviate the Theos. They would just put the Theta and then the Sigma. But that would be kind of confused. You can see these two red ones here. The Theta Sigma looks a lot like a, an Omicron Sigma, which just means he. So it would essentially mean he was manifest in the flesh. And then this one, so let's jump over here. I see two asterisk and two without an asterisk. Codex Alexandrinus. Maybe they think that this was a scribal edition. The little mark there in the middle, changing it from os to theos. Anyway, I wanted to share this resource with you. I want to go in and read the about and try to figure out how to use this and how to understand what I'm looking at. Anyway, I wanted to share it with you. Hopefully, it will be a helpful resource for you, for me, for anybody that uh, comes across it. God bless.